Hello, it's me, Dave March, the spy guy. And I'm just kind of doing a kind of small update. And uh, I'll, I'll do a game on boxing shortly. Uh, kind of, I want to first welcome my two. I have now 35 subscribers. I have welcoming two of them that I know. I want to welcome Halogen Helix and Eric Jimenez onto the, the show or onto, onto the channel. As uh, if you... If it tells me your name, I'm going to mention it, but some people don't have those kind of have their accounts kind of hidden away, so I don't see them. So that's the way that is. Uh, looking at this sh old shirt of mine for this con uh, gaming convention I was going to go to the week before everything went to hell. And yeah, so Hotline's like the Canada's finest miniature wargaming convention, and they shut down the hotel right before it all went all over the place I mean, if you're watching this 10 years from now yes this is a video from that time when everyone was crazy for a year for no re well not for no reason but for anyways oh uh, um i just had been accepted by abe books as an affiliate marketing and still trying to figure out how to put all those you know, links into things and then i went to realize that i didn't actually i had done it by joining this uh there's this affiliate giant affiliate marketing website you join it and then you sign up for things that represent you they have barnes noble which would be great but i don't and then so a books is this uk publisher but of course they'll ship anywhere in the world and then they have stuff in germany and other places so hey uh, i'll take whatever money i can get at this point anyways so what will happen with uh, so uh, I was signed up for that them from this other site. So they sent me a thing saying, hey, welcome to the program, but I didn't actually have an account with them. <laughs> so I went, just now have created the account and then sent them an email saying, hey, do I still sign up yet again on my new account or whatever? Because, you know, the, the life of a small YouTuber is always interesting to see how it goes. So soon, I uh, hopefully will have that all sorted out and I'll go back and put like just links to, a, a, a books in the old video descriptions and there's like a, I could probably put it on a card so that will I'm going to look into that and there's some other interesting things you can do with affiliate marketing apparently that I've just learned about and uh, apparently people can go back and attach their links to other people's dead sites and you can try to start making money that way like what the heck sure what why not let's see what how that goes Anyways, uh, I'm going to start doing my unboxing of Top Secret SI High Stakes Gamble because apparently that's what people want to see. I get no views on my video reviews. I get no some views on other things, but uh, I guess no one else does game unboxings but me. And I really need to turn on learn to turn off this green screen. Let me see about that. Choose virtual background. None. Oh, and the next split, next split cam's on. Uh, sorry, let me just put that in there. There it is. We'll go in, open it up. Okay, log in. I'm no, wait a minute. Let me try this another way. Sorry. I just want the thing to work. Why are you being so silly? Log in with Facebook. That's you. What are you doing here? I just want the program to work. I don't want to log into it. I just want to. Let's get log on. Ah, oh, there we go. Jesus. There we are. You can now see my building. The green screens are nice, but they do get in the way of like opening boxes and showing you the inside stuff. So this was a companion game accessory for Top Secret SI back in the day. It's set in uh, Monaco. 
or sorry, welcome to Monte Carlo, not Monaco. The world's wealthiest and most sophisticated gather here for the best of the good life. Perfect bronze bodies lounge on the beaches, immaculately dressed men and women chin dance until dawn, enjoying the finest cuisine and champagne and winning and losing fortunes on a single throw of the dice, turn of a card, or spin of the wheel. So what do we got in here? We have no particular order. High stakes gamble adventure book three. Um, introduction of to four scenarios. Uh, looks like three scenarios. Uh, one dealing with what kind of fuel am I? An experimental rocket fuel stolen five days ago from a research lab in California. The only reason nothing was done before this is because the lab developing the fuel exploded. <laughs> Up to now, it was considered an accident. So you have to go out and get this back. Where's the other ones? Kill the Empire. I remember who has reached Orion of an assassination plot so immense in scope that it would not be exaggerated to say that the fate of the entire world hangs in the balance. Oh. The uh, a small oil producing Middle East country is uh, mm, an effort to upgrade its image to sponsoring a Grand Prix race to its capital. It's one of the few moderate oil producing countries. The reason is being wooed by America and the Soviet Union. Interesting. And the final module is called Ring of Truth on page 24. I love this. They have red herrings for you. So players can go off on in these side things that are not necessarily have to do with things so that you can have like, oh, that didn't go anywhere. And their last one is called Ring of Truth. The flurry of activity in New York Orion offices. Security is airtight. Okay, oh, it looks like there's some sort of assassination uh, that happened on an Orion base and you have to go up and figure out what's going on. Interesting. Next book up. High Sticks, uh, book one. This is another 32 page book uh, for showing, telling you all about what's life in uh, Monaco is. They got a map of Grand Prix the Grand Prix route. They have information on important places like the palace and the garden. And of course, a lot of information on the casino itself, the famous Winston Churchill suite. Uh, oh, apparently a uh, a guest at any hotel run by the SBM receives the gold card entitling them to certain privileges. Uh, complimentary entrance to the European gambling rooms in the casino, entrance to the pool, the terraces, Baden Baden, access to the swimming pool and beach at the Monte Carlo Beach Hotel, half off the fees at the Monte Carlo Gold Golf Club, and half off the fees at the tennis courts at the Monte Carlo Country Club and the privilege of being able to charge any food or drink at any SBM owned hotel or restaurant to your room. Information on Orion headquarters in this the city. Uh, information on the web headquarters and stuff you can do just to show like side encounters that you can just put together at any time for uh, players whenever things are going wrong. High stakes gamble, vehicle book, book two. Rule, all kinds of rules for how to make do car chases and doing the, in the, doing the race. And uh, doing a campaign during the Grand Prix environment. Talk about Formula One racing cars, uh, role playing auto races, a chase flow chart, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, uh, the convention center, the Grand Prix route, uh, boats, maps, and just a kind of a nice little, some maps for like playing around. Uh, we have a flyer for the Role Playing Game Association Network. What we did before the YouTube and the internet. We actually had to write letters to each other. Oh, here's a nice full color map. Uh, 
Monaco, the casinos, surrounding area of Kongs. Cool, very cool. Some uh, like card sheets for different types of this is for motorcycles and cars. BMW Z1. A bunch of like just cards for all the things that goes down there. So we have all these cards for a vehicle. This kind of, I guess, was the vehicle expansion. Corvette, classroom specials, boats, helicopters. So this is kind of the vehicle expansion book for Top Secret SI. Very interesting, eh? Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, you used to get your real money's worth for these expansions, and they would throw out stuff. And the, one of the reasons that uh, at the top these games didn't last is, or TSR had to go broke is because they were creating lines that really weren't supported by like a lot of people, and they would be, or just lines that would piss off fan bases, and they were spreading themselves so thin. There was just like crazy stuff. Now we live in a world where you kickstart a program and you're guaranteed to know what your, your return is. And you can say, hey, I need $5,000 to do something. And I'll deliver you these products and then I'll expand outwards and we'll find out what the fans want, are willing to support and instead of just having to guess at it and maybe doing some marketing research, but not a lot. So really, that's what we can uh, come to expect. So... I don't know if we'll find Top Secret SI on eight books. Maybe I'll go look at that. Where is that here? Come on. Top Secret. Yeah. Yep, there's stuff here for Top Secret SI. Uh, one of the books that I don't have, Commando. It's top secret SI. So you can buy these old books that I'm going to be doing links to in the future off of here when I am, uh, when I finally figure out my monetization. So if you, um, five views, 15 pounds to two new from uh, 92 pounds. So good, good to see there's stuff out there. And uh, well, anyways, that's kind of me, it for me here. I've been doing, I did a whole bunch of other stuff last week. That's why I wasn't doing any like video supporting this thing. Despite this being the channel where I want to make money and do something, I spent a lot of time dealing with other stuff on my other channel, which is not really meant for like, it's more of a top secret thing. Well, not top secret, but it's like, a, it's not a, not a channel for the general audience. I'm basically, um, imagine if, uh, I was doing a show where I interviewed the, mem the subscribers of this channel. And that's what that show is. So don't worry about it. Don't, it's, it's very political. So and then I just don't want to get into that stuff here. This is a, this is a, so I'm just giving you a little update. And we just did the unboxing uh, uh, and showing you guys the, the, the fun times of being a, a small guy on the internet. Anyways, I uh, hope, hope you liked it. Watch the video like, share, subscribe. This is great. I'm going to be dropping this onto Twitter and uh, onto Facebook sh shortly. Uh, in the words of the great Andy Signore, bye-bye.